Hey folks. So yeah, Feature Friday was happening again, and um, they've did some. They've they've did yeah. They've done some interesting stuff, where um, they have changed the way willpower works, such that it is now a stat that does not only affect mental mutations, which is kind of cool. So it does affect cooldowns of everything now. Um, that is pretty cool, because usually willpower was kind of a dumb stat for me. And um, except when you try to play an Esper, that is. And um, yeah, I don't know. I think this is a good change. The one thing is, um, because this is a major change in mechanics, this has obviously made safe games incompatible. So I've had to revert to uh, previous stable again. So we're playing on an old version again, as long as this character lives. But you know, sometimes that just how it goes. So let's just go through the jungle. Oh no, I'm stunned. Come on, shake it off. Okay. Oh well, the ape killed the guy, so... That's good. Um, so yeah, where are we? We're in the jungle. Oh yes, we're going to Kuya... Kukya. Kia Kukya. So, that's going to be a nice trip. Skull Void Goldfold Village. <laughs> in a, uh... In a fungus biome. I'm... I would mess with that if it wasn't a fungus biome. You can actually, again, you can actually heal yourself from the fungus. The problem is that I don't really have a book right now. I should have actually made a note of how it actually works. But uh, there is, I have read the book that tells you how to heal your fungus. But uh, I've got it in a run where I didn't record. But you know, didn't really didn't really keep it in mind, so that's stupid. But it's actually it's kind of an involved process. You need this you need a spray bottle and you need to fill it with a bunch of stuff. And then uh, you need to spray it on the fungus and then it's gone. But I kinda want to internalize that process in case we find ourselves with some unwanted fungus stuff. Right? Um, we're gonna go with Deft Blocking for now, because this increases our block chance, which is good, I do want to increase my block chance. Um, I dropped off my server seat somewhere, didn't I? I think in Joppa, probably. So, we will have to keep in mind to get them before we make our trek to Golgotha. Alright. Reload our trusty desert rifle. And let's continue. So, um... Where are we right now? We are right here. Okay. We're just gonna keep going through the jungle. I think I'm not exactly gonna mess with uh, with the uh, with the river things, with the mad poles, because we are so so much of a melee guy. I don't want to really. I mean, we could use the desert rifle to plink them down, but uh, it's probably going to be rather annoying. So we're going to go around the river is my plan. So we're just going to stick to the jungle tiles. Okay. Uh, the jungle maps, I mean. The tiles, maps, you know, what's the difference? Um, there is actually a difference. Uh, uh, stunned for the turn again. Oh yeah, this guy is bloody, and that's why I didn't see. Okay. 
Yeah, I'm dropping a bunch of glow spheres for some reason. I mean, that's okay. They don't really... They still give us a bit of experience, but not a lot. So, I mean, killing them is okay, but it's starting to get more of a nuisance. Okay. You know? That's what morals in Kurt are based on. And how much of a nuisance anything is. And he blew himself up? The dumbass. Okay. What? Shoot the guy. Thunder block. Good. Alright. Let's rest up. Because the sower seed man. You know, he did some damage. Alright, good. Getting some goat meat out of it. How much are we carrying? I mean, we had a lot of pig meat, yeah. So we don't really need to butcher a lot. Okay, Ooh, ice frogs. Don't freeze me. Okay, good. Stun man. And the runs still give us 55 experience. Those are the guys who can't stun. Um, so that's okay. Yeah, let's eat some raw meat. Which is kind of fitting. For the character, right? And just some kind of walking around, bashing everyone's head in. So, uh, you know, eating raw meat is par for the course, I guess. All right. A lot of ice frogs on this map. For the rest, there's probably nothing there, but you know, you never know. Okay. Warm shade trees, no, shim scale, not swarm shade, whatever, the flim flam trees. Let's stop you in the tracks, in your tracks. That's a... Oh, that's a chest here. Floating glow sphere, huh, nice. Let's get that, and the steel helmet, I'm not gonna get that. We kind of on our upper limits of our carry capacity. Okay, kill the frog. Kill the goatee. And kill the frog first. And the leech. Okay. And let's continue. Going through goat land. This is... Yeah, this is actually kind of good. Small milky tube. It's a injector. Hulk honey. Okay. Hulk honey is actually not that bad. Oops, hey, dude. Die. Okay. There's been death and destruction down here. Do the puma still give us experience? Oh, yeah, 150, so that's okay. The apes probably also still work. Well, let's try this. Oh, we have shake it off. Yeah! We could actually murder those apes if we if we want. Okay, murder that thing. Hey, okay. ask clown. Stop throwing shit at me. Okay. Kill the albino ape. Okay, well that is working out. Yeah, that's going, just going to be a longer... T oh yeah, there's a... Oh god, that's one of these guys. Shamans. 750. They are still kind of scary. Because they do a lot of stuff. 
good thing is, it also give you a lot of experience. The rifleman. Let's destroy the rifleman. Let's get the lead slugs. Well, we have enough of them, but uh, you know. Okay, let's do this the proper way. Come down here. Okay. Oh, bollocks. Boss time. Be careful here not to get ourselves killed. This could be a problem. Maybe I'm going to actually get away from that. Let's see if we can get a few... Oh, no. Okay. That's not... Yeah. That's still coming. Um... Well, let's... You know? I'm just going to... Oh, no. Not harvest. I'm going to activate sprint. It doesn't seem to be too bad. They are actually also pretty slow. But uh, yeah, maybe we can actually try to kite them for a bit. Yeah. Oh dear, that was a sprint. Um, disliked by cannibals, oozes and vines. It's plastifier sneakers. That's fun. Let's see if we can actually... Oh Christ. I'm frozen solid. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Hey skunk. Do some damage. Alright. We're going to use a self-injector now. I think we, we're going to be able to actually murder that dude injured. I think that was a grenade. Um, yeah. Slam. And boom, it's dead. Okay. With oozes, vines, all good. That's one of the horn blowers. So yeah, take him out. Rest a bit. Grandfather horn, yeah. Plastic tree. Where did I actually smash that guy? I slammed him and he went away quite a bit. <laughs> savage. Very bloody. Don't know where I actually... Hmm. Okay, I'm a bit interested in the sneakers. I'm, I'm not going to exchange my... Uh, Jeez, I don't know. I'm not going to exchange my thing, my my boots, because the increased movement speed is really good. But you know, ah. that well, whatever. We took out our first goat jungle boss, so that's good. Cost us a self ejector though. It's not as great, but it's fine. It's fine. Are you a savage or a s no. savage? Are they seed sower? Okay, all right, rest up, continue. Well, that was successful. We got rid of those goats. And that gave us a ton of experience as well. You know, lots of goats, lots of experience. That's just how it goes. Also in real life, you know. Um, so how are we doing? Yeah, just one or two more goats, and then we are we are set. There's a Naftali forager, and we gained a level. Good. Shoot that guy in the face. Um, raw 
pig meat and we leveled up, didn't we? Yes, we did. So, we're going to also get the other block stuff. Strength. And that will, would be some increased stun ability, and that's also good. Let's get swift blocking for now. And we're going to get the other block ability as well. I'm probably not going to be able to get the willpower one, but, uh, you know, that's kind of fine. Okay. Let's continue making our way towards Kyakokia. I hope we can... F I don't know if there are actually recoilers for that town, but I think there are. It would be nice to get one. Oh, also, that increased our stats again, right? It did, level 18. So, uh, yeah, now we can carry a bit more, which is useful. And, um, yeah, everything went up a bit. That's nice. Toughness. Yeah, toughness as well. I'm actually kind of considering putting my next point into toughness. To, just to get a little tougher, you know? Pretty straightforward equation. I mean, now that we, like, we don't really, like, f we don't really need more strength for skills. So, what do we have here? Is this ruins? This might be ruins. Or maybe it's a goat folk area. Oh yeah, there's another boss over there. The boss isn't really... hasn't seen us yet. Or at least hasn't yet aggroed. And there's nothing here. You need to be careful about those bosses. As always. There's some bloody murder going on there. I think there's a group of Naftali, probably. Yeah, there's the boss. Try to get rid of the seat guy. The boar killed the seat guy. Well, somebody's shooting at me. Okay, let's go over here. Uh, you gained a level, obviously. The Yurt Warden. That's the one who shot. Okay, there they are. Why, what do you have? I think there is... Oh yeah, that's a Hornblower and a Sower again. I think we might be able to take them on, but again... Oh, we discovered Takish. Well, that's up there. That's good to know. We're not going to go there yet. Okay, can I shoot you? Did you come at me? Yes, that works. Good. Okay, now they are coming. No. Okay, that's uh that was also not a grenade, that is a mental mutation thing that they do. Okay, that's the savage guy. We can take this guy out. Let's see if we can rest a bit behind this. For some reason we lost them. I don't know where they are. Okay, there's another savage. Take this guy out. Okay, there they are. Oops. The horn blowers just drive you onto other maps sometimes. Okay, there's another savage. Just back here. Alright. The boss has not been following us across the maps. Savage. Take out this guy. Oh yeah, there they are. Oh, you become afraid. Have anything good that we can use against them? Not really. You need to kind of um, wear down their group a bit. Like I don't like those horn blowers, and there's a sower still. He still has a seed. Oh, he also has plastifier sneakers. Ra Stargazer. Uh -huh. That's a good name. 
do some shooting. Okay, that guy's dead. Let's destroy the horn blower. Okay, good. That's the group. He does some mental mutation nonsense. Now let's engage him in melee combat. Yes, and dead. Okay. With cats went down. Oh dear. What do we have here? Floating glow sphere, plastifier sneakers. Okay. Do they? Yeah. They're kind of alright. Let's just pick them up. I'm not too big of a fan of the reputation loss with cats, though. I don't know. Hmm. Well. Also, also because we did not have any reputation gain there. He was apparently a popular man. No, he's dead. Okay, well. Let's take a look around here. Sunday and a copper nugget. Or quaint. Do we have here? Silver nugget again. Without fact, it's a stasis grenade. Oh, let's not pick that up. Another chest. Rough Agati gemstone. That's nice. Probably worth a bit of money. So let's pick it up. And I got teleported away. That might have been a yonder bush. Yes, it was a yonder bush. So Jeff in the comments gave me some good advice to you know, leave the Lond yonder bushes standing because you can use them to sort of as an emergency measure. If you need to get away quickly, you can just use them to teleport away. And that is in fact true. So I'm not going to chop them down. That was, there isn't really any benefit to doing that. So explosive grenade, MK2. Let's get that. Maybe we can use that too. If we find ourselves in a bad situation. That's another fix-it spray foam. I didn't want to take the woven tunic though. Let's drop that again. Also, I think carrying around that HE missile is stupid. Let's not do that. Time crusted bones. Yeah, there isn't really much going on here. Let's walk over here. Okay. Let's see what's going on in this patch of ruins. Are you now hostile? Yes. Our good times with the with the Pumas are over. They are they are in fact hostile now. Destroy the slumberling. Good. Oh, and some beetles. Come over here. Okay. Yeah, we're going to we're going to make it to level twenty. Actually, this is going to uh, going to be good. Also, uh, another change that is obviously not implemented yet is. Um, like, non-human enemies will now bleed. For example, robots will bleed oil. Stuff like that. Okay, we can harvest some vine wafers from here. And that's also good. We are, we are getting to the, to the river area. Tapri Salt River. No, I'm uh, going to stay away from that. Jungle and tar pools. Uh, Kindle thumbed, yeah. Ah, that's annoying again. So. Let's take another path. The tar pools give you... Like the... Oh! There's another goat folk village. Okay, then let's, let's explore that. Let's not go ourselves killed, but let's explore that. Um... Yeah, the, the tar areas can spawn kindle-thumbed enemies, and 
That's just not very fun generally. Very few actual goat folk around. Okay, they are in their homes. There's a horn blower somewhere. Yeah, there you are. Let's take up the horn blower. Oh dear. Oh dear. This is not good. This is too many. If we can make our way out of this. Oh, there's a boss. Oh, 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 oh. Sprint. We're going to try this to get away for a bit. I mean, yeah. Obviously, there's a boss. Okay. Probably the... The dude from this town, right? Okay. So, there was another rifle guy. There's a seed man. Destroy the seed man. We're going to try to be smart about this. So let's take a look at the boss. It's again a shaman. Aided by arachnids twice. Leading a raiding party on one of their camps and disparaging a famous poet. poet. Disliked by Beatles as well. Doesn't really have anything too interesting. Okay. okay. We can just take out... That brought the savage to us, at least. The shooty man. Shooty man, come closer. Yes, good. Alright. Yeah, that's working out. I think this is a seed guy, isn't it? Yeah. Also, they are not flagged as easy. <laughs> it's fun. Now the boss is agitated. Let's do some sprinting again. At least this guy is not... Um... Can you please shoot the dude? Okay. We're still faster than him, even if, uh, even if we're not sprinting. Let's see. Oh, the flag is fine. Oh yeah, he can teleport around. He does not have the... Flaming and freezing stuff, though. Okay. Yeah, killing a lot of goat folk here. What do we have? Steel shield. No. Gas like flissa. Forgot what that what that was again. Also, strange tubes. What are those? Oh, metal folding chair. Let's drop that one. We don't need it. Um. What was that? Oh yeah. Intensity is su such that it may cut away steel. Maybe we can use that for something. Okay, rest up. I think we have murdered this village. There isn't really much more going on. No, there isn't. That was again a good source for experience. Okay, there's naphtalis and goats up the wazoo. Let's take all of them out. Let's rampage through this. Okay. And more goats. It's just kind of on a goat genocide here. Also, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to stop the video now. Let's kill the remaining enemies on screen. Oh, you know, I'm going to uh, mop up this map, and then, and then I'm going to end the video. It's time. Leeches, goat people. Oh, I gained a level. Oh, I did actually attack him. That's weird. There was some kind of lagginess going on here. Okay, what do we have? 
I think we we could spring for some some of this stuff. Like I think I'm going to get weathered. And obviously staggering block. Yeah. Staggering block and weathered are my next few things that I'm going to work towards. We could also get like better butchery. But um I don't know. Maybe that's actually something we could learn from some water ritual or another, I don't know. But uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching, and see you again next time. Bye-bye.